Right now on the come up, lately been talking my stuff because I know I come from the gutter. Then I go pop out in all of this linen like I was a baller. How can you hate me? I'm coming from under. Know where to sleep. Now I pop out in ballistics, they run us, man. Tell us I'm tweaking. I already. I was down bad, I know I done it all. I was serving the fiends, let it dissolve. If I got a problem, I'm making one call. While none of your peoples be sliding at all. But like an oven, I'm packing that heat, only hit up with. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, it's been a long week. It's been a long day. If you're watching this, I hope you didn't take an L on um, on GameStop and AMC. I've been hearing all about that stuff. But today we're at the shop gym. Uh, gonna go through a short leg and shoulder workout. So I'm trying to change things up as far as my split goes. I usually do push pull legs, but I want to start putting more focus into places I'm uh, more weaker in, like my shoulders, for example. So. Throwing that into my leg days just because my leg days aren't that heavy right now because of my ACL situation. So I won't talk too much about that, but uh, we're going to get into that. I also want to talk about bloating. So um, it's one thing that a lot of people kind of, probably in general, you're going to face it at one point or another if you're eating out, for example, or at home. Uh, it happens. And a lot of times it, it's not a good feeling, especially if your bloating is a lot. And I've had those times where I'm eating certain things and I bloat up an extreme amount and I can't go to sleep. But there's a few tips you can do. And I, I was doing some research this past week um, on ways to reduce bloating or if you're about to go to the beach, for example, or just, I don't know, in certain situations, if you want to just avoid those, avoid bloating, you can try these out and it should help you out. So stay tuned and enjoy. So back in the day when I first started working out, I knew nothing about warming up or stretching, which is kind of bad. Actually, it's very bad. Um, and that led to a lot of injuries that I still face today, which is crazy. Um, for example, like my lower back, I never used to take care of it. Like I never used to roll out or stretch out. And I never understood why it was important. And now I get a lot of lower back issues, a lot of hip issues if I don't warm up properly. So lesson learned, you should always pay attention to what you're doing before you even work out. It's the little things that matter the most in reality. Because you might as well spend five or 10 minutes warming up instead of being out for a week or two because of an injury. And trust me, I've had major injuries and it's not fun. So yeah, tip of the day, not to get too serious. So I don't really have like a list of warm ups I do, but I've learned a lot along the way from a lot of my friends and just online. So I try to do a lot of like just regular stretches. So like, for example, this, especially on leg days, um, is gonna stretch out your lower back, uh, is gonna stretch out your, your hamstrings, your quads. And especially for leg days, you really need to be warmed up. Um, if it helps, you can do some type of dynamic warm up, like walking on the treadmill for a little bit to warm up your body, break some sweat, and then get into it. But you don't have to. It does warm up your muscles a little bit, but everyone's body works a little bit differently. So really just feel it out. And then the form roll, I like to roll out my lower back like I just did, roll out my legs, my quads. Um, I, just, I don't even know what this is called, but I like to roll out my upper body. So yeah, just a few examples of what I do. So first thing about bloating that I learned even before doing research is that when you're having a lot of salt and sodium, sorry for the noise in the background, um, it's gonna cause bloating. Cause what sodium does is it holds water in your body. And I think I talked about this during my uh, gut health video is kind of similar to that but when you're eating out for example for fast food they put hella salt in it to make it taste good same thing at home a lot of times when you're putting seasoning in it's gonna be less than when you're eating out but in general it's gonna cause sodium which again holds water and that takes a lot of hours for it to leave your body so in the meantime your stomach is gonna be a lot more I guess in like floated bloated inflated whatever it's called um, and that's just due to all that water weight that's in your stomach at that moment so it's also similar and, and you'll see it a lot in like artificial sweeteners, um, if you drink a lot of coffee, um, stuff like that. So when you're eating out, just try to be mindful or at least if you, eat, if you like to eat out a lot periodically, just keep in mind that you might experience a little bit more bloating as compared to if you're eating at home and cooking your own meals. So uh, I would say number one tip and number one, probably the most common um, knowledge about bloating is sodium and salt and the effect on bloating. All right, so uh, one thing, another thing that might be common sense when it comes to uh, bloating is carbonated drinks, um, like fizzy drinks, so soda. It could even be like sugar-free soda. A lot of times it has a lot of carbonation in it. So it's nothing crazy, but that carbonation can lead to bloating because again, it holds a lot of um, water weight. It might be for a couple hours, probably less than um, in comparison to salt, but just in general, if you're having a lot of soda, keep in mind that like you might become a little bit more bloated for a couple hours 
So if there's certain things that you don't want to look bloated for, if you're going to the beach, you might want to avoid those kind of uh, drinks and have water instead because what the water does is clears out any kind of, um, just in general, just any kind of carbonation, any kind of, uh, in general, in salt, it's just going to clear out your guts. Um, and you should be having a certain amount of water each day anyway. So, you know, for those situations, just have water instead of uh, soda. So I know I keep saying everything is the number one um, most common known fact about bloating, but this one probably is. So uh, eating enough fiber is actually very important to avoid uh, not just bloating, but constipation. So not to get too nasty, but what fiber does is it helps clear your stomach, um, clear your stomach of any kind of constipation and um, yeah, get rid of the poop and all that stuff. So, but you also want to make sure you're not having too much fiber because then that can lead to, again, even more bloating than before. So you want to uh, really be strategic about it. But natural things that have a lot of fiber in it is your greens like spinach, um, broccoli. Uh, those kind of vegetables are really, gonna, really good natural fiber uh, sources. Or if you don't like vegetables like myself, um, you can look to like prebiotic pills, uh, green powders, uh, and they have like actual stuff for fiber, like fiber one bars and stuff like that. So fiber is very important for uh, uh, bloating. So the last talking point I want to talk about was um, eating in regular intervals. So if you're eating like one or two bulky meals, or let's just say you're eating one ginormous meal um, throughout the day, right? It's gonna take a lot more time for your body to digest that, obviously because your stomach is just only so small. So to avoid that, especially on certain days, like if you're going to the beach, or you're gonna you know, be more visible, um, eat in regular intervals. So have smaller meals throughout the day. You don't have to do it every day if you don't want to. But the benefit of that is also, there isn't really that much um, scientific proof behind it, but they say that it increases your metabolism. I don't know how true that is. But uh, the one thing I do know is that it's gonna lead to less bloating and you're gonna look, you're gonna feel, feel a lot less uh, lighter on your feet just because it's so much easier for your body to digest smaller meals at a time than a bigger meal. All right guys, so I'm probably gonna call it there. Uh, hopefully those tips on bloating helped you guys out if you guys are experiencing that or do experience that in the future. It's very common, so don't like feel like it's something specified just to you. Um, hope you enjoyed that leg workout too, leg and shoulder workout. Um, as always, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.